So, you've just woken up, and you're ready to travel into the world of VR. Well, you don't have any more money because you just spent it all on a VR. Well, in this video, I will be showing you some games on App Lab and SideQuest of some free VR games. Coming in in the number 5 spot, we have the Silkworm, and this game's pretty much scuffed Spider-Man without good graphics, and you can't really fight people at all, but in this game, you swing around the city, try and get places fast, and it's actually pretty fun. It's a great choice if you're looking for something random to play. At the number 4 spot, we have V Speedway. This game's still in alpha, but... You have two modes, it is a, or one is a lap race called Time Attack, or a timed lap race, and the other mode is a single race called, well, called Single Race, and you can race AI around a track, but there's only one track currently and one car, but you can change the color, and there is manual transmission. It's pretty fun. Keep in mind the game's still in alpha. Coming in at the number 3 spot, we have Gorilla Tag. You may have heard of it before, but it's a g game where you can play Infected or just normal tag with 4 people. But you run around in the treetops, you can climb, you can jump, and it's a fun time. But keep in mind, you may hurt yourself because of your play space. In the number two spot, we have Traversal. It's a fairly new room scale game where you wander around rooms, and this, since it is a room scale game, you need a big enough play area, and they recommend a 6x5 feet or a 182.88 by 152.4 centimeters. And there's multiple game modes you can play, like building your own map, um, walking around in other people's maps, but it's a pretty cool game. It's kind of trippy, but you just have to play it to actually know what I'm talking about. In the number one spot, we have Pavlov Shack. This game is in beta, and it is a really fun first-person shooter game. Similar to Onward, but a bit better, in my opinion. has better graphics. And more guns and easier ways to switch the guns but you can use World War 2 game modes or just modern day game modes like gun game team deathmatch search and destroy TTT and it's really fun sadly this game's not cross-platform so if you have any PC VR friends you can't play with them unless they have a quest or a quest 2 So that's going to be it for this video guys, let me know if you want to see more stuff, this sort of format of me talking and showing stuff on screen, but I'll see you in the next one if you have any questions about how I recorded this video or the microphone that I'm using, leave them in the comments below, but there will be stuff in the description. Goodbye!